Okay, so are you smart enough to learn calculus? Well, I'm going to make this a quick, short video. I'm going to tell you the answer right now, and the answer is yes. So if you were going to stick around for a few minutes and say, okay, what is this guy going to tell me? Maybe he's going to give me some sort of secret formula where uh, I'll know whether I am smart enough or not. Well, I'm going to tell you the answer right now. Yes, it is. So if you want to move on to another video, hopefully you don't. Uh, you know, most of you are like, oh, that's the answer. Okay, great. Well, this is really not the question that people are asking themselves. A lot of people ask or state, hey, am I smart enough to learn calculus? But really, that's not what they mean. I think the interpretation of this question is, what does it take to learn calculus? What, how much work do I have to put in? You know, am I committed enough? How long is it going to take? Okay. So I think that's really the more appropriate question and the question that people are actually looking for the answer to. But I could tell you right now, if you have an interest in learning calculus, it is awesome. Okay. You can solve so many awesome problems with calculus. It really is um, so dr uh, dramatically important in our everyday modern life. Okay, we will not have all this technology, all these engineering solutions uh, without calculus. So when you learn it, you really, really gain an appreciation for all that stuff. And yes, you are smart enough. However, okay, there are some things you need to do in order to, uh, you know, get ready to take uh, on uh, this course because calculus is pretty rigorous. So I'm not going to try to minimize it and say, oh, it's just this is really, you know, easy stuff. You know, some of the, the big picture is easy, but there's a lot of technical things, et cetera, et cetera, that I think scare a lot of people off. But we're going to talk about all this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And I can tell you right now, you can be successful at all levels of mathematics to include calculus, but it requires great math instruction. So if you're at the middle school, high school or even college level, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I do not teach calculus. I strongly believe that you should take calculus at a university, but I do have a pre-calculus course, which you absolutely need to understand. We're going to talk about more, um, more about that in a second, but um, I have a great pre-calculus course. Uh, I'm going to actually leave a link to that course in the description of this video. Also, if you are preparing for a test, most are going to be taking a test out there that has a dedicated math section. Uh, if you're going to, uh, off to some sort of additional training program, college, things like the SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have award-winning middle and high school mathematics courses for homeschoolers, so that might interest you. If you need a pair of great math notes, I'm going to leave links to mine in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out or entertains you in some small way, please consider liking and subscribing as that helps me out. Okay, so, you know, when we take a look at uh, calculus, you know, it's very like, wow, you know, it looks like a foreign language to a lot of us. And anything new that you don't understand can be intimidating. So don't let the symbology of this scare you off, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into what it takes really to learn calculus. Now, when I'm talking about learning, okay, well, I could teach you something about calculus, the basic essence of it. I think most people can understand that. But I think the question here, uh, probably for most people, is, hey, could I take a college-level uh, calculus course and pass it? Okay, that's a different deal than, hey, can I learn something about calculus? Could you pass an actual calculus course? So that's kind of the uh, focus of what I'm going to be talking about. So let's go ahead and start with that. So the first thing is um, why, okay? Why do you want to learn calculus? We've got to answer that question uh, here first. Uh, so we can kind of put this in context because this is going to go to your motivation, all right? Now, a lot of you uh, or say, might say, well, I have to do this for my degree, okay? So in other words, uh, if you're planning on uh, majoring in computer science, you're going to need calculus. If you're going to... Um, you know, obviously be a chemistry major or something like that, physics, uh, engineering, you absolutely are going to need calculus and a ton more math as well. So why do you want to take calculus? Okay. Now, a lot of you may not even realize that you're saying, well, I'm going to take a degree like say finance. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm not going to major in anything like a, a STEM major, which is science, technology, engineering, math. Guess what? A lot of business degrees out there actually require a semester of calculus, ec economics, and things like that. Actually, economics probably requires more. So, uh, you know, there are 
a lot of situations why you need to take calculus. So if you need to take calculus to reach your goal, well, then there is your motivation. You're going to need to be able to pass it. Now, some of you out there um, are saying, well, I want to take calculus because it's just a goal of mine. I just want to see if I can learn this and challenge myself with it. So I think that is great, okay, because it will be a challenge, all right? But uh, just like any challenge, okay, if you set yourself up with a small goal, when you achieve that goal, you know, the rewards are like maybe okay, all right? But when you achieve a gigantic goal, the rewards are much higher, okay? So I know this from personal experience, you know, for being a, a U.S. Marine and uh, winning scholarships, and so, you know, I don't want to go too far into my background, but I've done a lot of pretty challenging things on top of getting a degree in mathematics, master's degree, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but listen, we all have had uh, certain major goals that we accomplished in our life. So right, uh, right off the bat, I'm telling you that if you're doubting yourself, you know, like, oh, if I'm smart enough, okay, if you're thinking, am I smart enough? Well, if you do, what you need to do immediately is say to yourself, where have you had to overcome a huge challenge in your life? Where have you set a big goal for yourself? Now, maybe you think, you know, you're thinking back in your life, you're like, well, I really haven't. Well, then this is a great uh, goal, okay? If you're interested in calculus, then maybe this will be your first major goal, but you can do it. So the first thing I think in order uh, to uh, want to pass a calculus course, you have to, you know, be motivated, right? So, what is your reason? Why you do want to? Uh, why do you want to take calculus? Okay, so that's the first thing. Okay, is that um, you need to have that motivation because uh, calculus is a rigorous math course, right? And for example. If you want to be an engineer, an aerospace engineer, for example, you're not going to be one unless you can get to this course, right? So you, you, you have to have that strong level of motivation that keeps you going so you can put in the work, okay, and the effort. Um, if you don't like to work then or study, then I would strongly suggest, you know, you can kind of, you know, um, uh, you know, learn a little bit about calculus, but we're talking again about, hey, could you actually uh, take a college level, university level uh, calculus course and pass it? That's what we're talking about here. Okay, so now, now that you understand why you want to do this and what it, you know, the the kind of commitment you need to make to it, the second thing is, well, let's talk about your current math skills. Okay, so what math skills? do you need? Okay. And I think this is where a lot of people doubt themselves. Well, I'm not smart enough because I haven't done well in math. Well, that's, you know, everyone, you know, you can't uh, have your perception of yourself being static. In other words, uh, just because I failed way back 15 years ago in math course, therefore I am bad. You're going to have to stop any kind of mental associations you have about your ability to learn math. I'm telling you, you can be much, much better, much stronger in math. But again, you're going to have to kind of get these skills. So uh, you can kind of think of these skills as like a toolbox, all right? Um, here is my little toolbox right here. And you just can't go into a calculus course with only having like a screwdriver and a hammer. That's not gonna, that's not gonna cut it. You couldn't build a house with this. Well, maybe some people could, I'm not sure what kind of house it would have, uh, with a screwdriver and, and a hammer, you know, you're going to want to have better tools, better skills, all that kind of stuff. And you need to have a good amount of these, uh, math skills and, um, tools before you walk into a calculus course. So let's go ahead and talk about the math skills that you need. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to kind of pop down here because this is where it becomes a little bit more like practical advice. Okay, so let's uh, say this is our calculus course right here. So this is the typical high school track to get to uh, calculus, okay? So the course you take before calculus is something called pre-calculus, okay? Uh, the name is very specific, pre and calculus. That's, for the most uh, part, the most classic name. Uh, there are variations to this type of course. It's basically the same course with a different name, but most of you would be taking like a pre-calculus course. I'm going to talk more about this here in a second. Now, before you take pre-calculus, you're going to end up, uh, you should have taken, well, let's just say um, Algebra 2 if you were in high school and 
uh, an equivalent in college or uh, community college or university would be something like college algebra. These courses are very uh, similar uh, to one another. And a lot of these, a lot of this stuff is reviewed in pre-calculus, but again, I'll talk more about pre-calculus here in a second. So you're going to want to have these courses underneath you. And before you get to this course, uh, you, uh, well, in high school, most people take high school geometry, uh, and then before geometry, algebra one. So this is kind of like, uh, most people's high school, uh, track and then, um, uh, high school boys. Hey, I need to go back to school. Let me write this a little better. See, I'm getting a little bit sloppy in my old age. All right, there we go. High school. And then here you have, of course, middle school before algebra one. You have what? Pre algebra and all your middle school arithmetic, which is extremely important. And this is all interconnected. Okay. Now, the one thing here I would say if you are interested uh, just as a goal to learn calculus, you could probably. Um, do with uh, this taking a high school of a geometry course may not be absolutely critical. You could just go from algebra one potentially to algebra two to pre calculus. Okay, now if you did super, super strong in algebra one and you're like, hey, I want to take calculus quick, um, you're well, you potentially could jump to pre calculus, but guess what? You got to understand pre calculus before you uh, take calculus. Okay, you don't want to. Uh, not have basically go from algebra two to take calculus, you're going to not be ready. Okay, so let's talk about pre-calculus. And again, uh, in terms of courses that I offer, I offer a, um, a pre-calculus course, super rigorous, very, very comprehensive, um, uh, but will definitely get you ready for calculus. I also offer these courses, algebra two, college algebra, geometry, algebra one, pre-algebra, all these courses I offer. So if you are shaky and you're like, well, I just don't know where to start uh, reviewing or preparing. And some of you might be in high school now. You're like, oh, I'm already good with algebra two. Well, then you know, make sure you you know uh, you know check that you do um, uh, have strong pre-calculus skills. Let's just say one thing real quick here as well. Taking a course just because you took a course does not mean you actually acquired strong skills from that course. Everybody knows what I'm talking about, right? They're like, oh yeah, I took algebra one in high school, but I got a C minus. And how much of that course could you remember? Maybe 10% at most. So remember when you, um, just because you took a course doesn't necessarily mean you acquired the skills. Here's the deal. When you walk into a calculus course, this is, this is the big leagues here. Okay. In other words, um, you will have to perform mathematically. Okay. There's no hiding out. You're going to have to be able to do rigorous mathematics. And I think, uh, in terms of, uh, rigorous mathematics, algebra two, college algebra, yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of challenging. It's all relative, but pre-calculus has a lot of rigorous mathematics. Okay. So if you can do well in pre-calculus, you can do well in calculus, right? Cause it's pretty much, you know, at the same, pretty similar level of, um, you know, it being rigorous and pre-calculus is typically taking, uh, taken for most students like at the 12th grade, um, which is nice because once they finish this, a few months later when uh, uh, those students go to college, they're in a calculus course, and that's a nice transition. Okay, so now let's talk about pre-calculus. So these are the things, just big picture stuff uh, that you're going to understand in pre-calculus. Pre-calculus is kind of broken up into two kind of phase. Well, let's make it three. Okay. So the first uh, phase, okay, is kind of like a review. A lot of the stuff you learned in algebra two, algebra one. Okay. So uh, you will see these concepts again, like logarithms, et cetera, like that, all that stuff. So it things are like, oh, you know, I've learned that before in the past. Well, you'll see it come up again in pre-calculus, but you're going to be doing it at a little bit more advanced level. Now, the main thing that's new for most students in pre-calculus is trigonometry, okay? Way back in the good old days, um, they used to have trigonometry as a separate, like, semester course. Some schools may, may still offer that or colleges, but typically pre-calculus, I'm sorry, uh, trigonometry is about a semester's worth, okay, or a third to a semester's worth of a pre-calculus course. There's a lot of sections and chapters in here. This gets very advanced, a lot to know. You have to get this trigonometry down to be successful in calculus. So a huge part of pre-calculus is trigonometry. And I'm not talking just basic right angle trigonometry, like, hey, find the sine of you know this triangle 
we're not, we're not talking about that. We're talking about, you know, trigonometric identities, you know, uh, law of sine and cosine. There's a lot uh, in here that you're going to need to know. So uh, that would be um, something that you, you uh, if you didn't know, you, you would be expecting to do. And then here, I'm going to put in advanced uh, algebra, okay, concepts, uh, things uh, like sequence and series, um, uh, uh, more advanced things on matrices, and and this, you know, you're going to be looking at more advanced topics than you learned in Algebra 2. Well, some of this is going to be interconnected, but this is the typical pre-calculus course. And by the way, some pre-calculus courses um, as well have like an intro uh, to uh, calculus concepts, okay? So that's kind of like a bonus material, but you need to have all this hardcore skills down and knowledge to be successful in calculus. Do not attempt to uh, take a calculus course without being successful in pre-calculus. Okay, so this is, you know, uh, why the, the course's name is pre-calculus, all right? So from a practical standpoint, in terms of are you smart enough to take calculus, well, it's just, good at, you know, really the question is, how long is it going to take you to master all this stuff in pre-calculus? Well, it, everyone's going to be different. Okay, let's go back to our little chart here, okay? If you are currently in high school, for example, and you did really, really well on all these things, and you're like, oh yeah, I could just take pre-calculus because all this math is fresh, you know, uh, with you right now. You're like, you know, you have momentum and continuity. But if you're going back to school after 10, 20, 30, 40 years, and you're like, hey, I wanna take calculus, that's awesome, okay? But just know that you're going to wanna spend a little time reviewing these other topics, warming up, uh, and then jump uh, into like a pre-calculus course. The thing, the edge that I think um, older students have, and I would classify myself as that, you know, people have been out of school for 10 years, 20 years, 30, 40 years. Uh, the, the one thing that I think we have going for ourselves is maturity. And I say that kind of lightly, but you have the discipline to do things and, you know, you uh, to really be organized and work hard. When you want to do something at this point in life, you know, you set a goal, you know how to do that. Uh, a lot of times when you were younger, you know, you're a high school student, you know, you're a college student, you're like, yeah, I just don't need to take this course because it's just part of my degree uh, requirement. And, you know, uh, then when you get tested with something super challenging, when it becomes difficult, you know, that's when you have to be reminded, hey, where is your motivation? Why are you doing this? Okay. I would say that for those of you just have this as a goal, you know, slow down, take your time with it. Okay. But don't quit. Now, if you are on an uh, actual course, you're, you're going to have to be able to keep up with the class. But for those of you that want to be, you know, an engineer or, you know, a computer scientist or a mathematician or something like that, you know, you're going to have to get really in touch with your motivation, okay? And do not let uh, something difficult, you know, stop you, you know, uh, achieving your goal, okay? Just because calculus is rigorous, you know, just make, you know, your mind up that you're going to learn this, okay? So... Uh, let's go ahead and just re revisit the question. Are you smart enough to learn calculus? Yes, you are. But the question really is, are you committed enough? Okay, how bad do you want to learn calculus? How bad do you need to learn calculus? So, you know, get in touch with those questions. Get you, you, Only you personally can answer those questions. But this really doesn't have um, uh, a really... For most people, anything to do with your intelligence, okay? It really has everything to do with your commitment to uh, learn and study mathematics. So um, anyways, if you are interested in my pre-calculus course or any one of my courses, you can find in my math help program. But uh, specifically, I'm going to leave a link to my pre-calculus uh, course as well in the description of this video. You can check that out. But uh, anyways, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.